Hello, welcome back to another episode of The Boredom Chronicles. Today, we're going to be talking about EVA foam. Now, EVA foam is widely used in the cosplay industry. Why? Because it's flexible, it can be painted, it can be cut, it can be sanded, it can be formed into shape with heat. And it's lightweight. Most cosplay costumes are made in part, if not completely out of EVA foam. It is very very versatile and relatively inexpensive. Today, I'm going to look at making EVA foam laser cut parts and we're going to start with chain mail. Now, let's go over to the machine where I've got a design waiting that we're going to laser cut. Okay, I've drawn this in Lightburn, which is the laser cutting program. And these are the links for EVA foam chain mail. Each one of these sections will fit together to form the final chain mail. Let's go over to the machine and laser cut. Okay, the machine's already started and it's cutting these sections out in three millimeter black EVA foam. Now I'm running about 15% power and it's going around about 50 millimeters a second. And that's just enough to cut through the foam and create the sections for our EVA foam chain mail. And there we go, there's the finished laser cut part. Now I'll probably go and cut another row at the bottom there where there's some space. Then we'll go over to the bench and assemble. And there's the completed piece. Now what we have to do now is remove the links from the rest of the EVA foam. That is fairly easy because the laser cutter has gone all the way through. So just grab hold of it and it should come loose. Now there will be parts that will stick. Be fairly gentle just in case you tear it, but you shouldn't have any problems removing it from the outer. Now when the laser cut out the links, there are teardrop shaped pieces that need removing, leaving the rest of the links. Now these small teardrop shapes I figured out are quite a nice little shape so maybe I don't want to throw them away so what I'm going to do I'm going to put them to one side for use in a future project if you just have a look they are quite a nice little shape so I'm just gonna see those I'm just gonna put them to one side and we'll use them in another cosplay video Okay, this part is a bit tricky. You have to take the two loops and feed one through the other. So take this loop, push it through like that. Then move down to the next loop and push it through just like that. Now this is a bit fiddly and it does take a bit of time to wrap your head around it. But once you make your way down the chain, all of the loops should look exactly like that. Before you move on to the next row, make sure that each loop looks exactly the same. Otherwise, when you put the whole thing together, it's not going to work. So pass it through. Now, when you take hold of each side, they should interlock together and there should be no part that feels loose. So you just go down the chain and loop it all the way through. Now, when you add the next row, you are always adding the next row on the loops on the left. So they go down those loops and over. So you work from right to left. All the way down. And there's the completed piece. You can see how tightly those chains all fit together. Now what I've done here, I've taken two pieces of scrap EVA foam and hot glued them to our chain mail. Just so I've got something to hold on to and so the links don't all come apart. Now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to just take a fan brush with a bit of steel coloured acrylic model paint on and I'm going to dry brush over the EVA foam chain mail. Now obviously the EVA foam is black. So when I hit it with that paint, it should really come alive. So there we go, just a fan brush there, not really much paint on it at all. And I'm not putting any pressure on it. 
I'm just dry brushing over the top and see how that changes. That now makes it look amazing. Just light strokes. The key is not a lot of paint. You just want a tiny amount of paint. Really, when you are dry brushing, you put the brush in the paint and then you wipe the excess off on a paper towel. And look at that, how amazing that looks. EVA foam with a little bit of acrylic paint. Now, when you dry brush in, I'll show you now on this scrap, it's just the edges. See, we're just touching the edges. Dry brushing is a widely used method that model makers and effects people have been using for a long, long time, but it is really, really effective. Now what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just take a piece of scrap, EVA foam, and put it behind that, just so you can see how it looks. And there's the finished piece. That looks really effective. It looks like chain mail, it moves like chain mail, but it's lightweight and it's really easy to make. This would be a brilliant addition to any costume. Look at that. Now, I did a bit more design and I made this. This is a very basic strap I imagine to be on some kind of military backpack or costume. This would be a brilliant addition again and was really easy to make. It took a little bit of design but the laser cutter did all the work for me. So from there, I started to experiment with some other things. Fish scale. This is an engraved sheet that you could add to your costume. It could be an Aquaman costume. It could be any character that you wanted. Wood grain for a lightweight weapon for a part of a costume. Feather mail, like chain mail, but with obviously feathers. Now, these loop together in exactly the same way. One loop goes through the top of the other and pulls out, which gives you tiered rows of feathers. And once painted, these look fantastic. I'm cutting here, just on an engraving setting, a 15% power. I can't believe how well my machine cuts and engraves this foam. I really thought that I would struggle to get started doing it, and I thought uh, my results would be hit and miss. I am really, really pleased. And now that I've got my settings all dialed in, I can go and do anything. Now, I spent a couple of hours designing some of these logos with cosplay costumes in mind, and these were the results. Now, these are only engraved, so I'm running the machine at 15% power, and I'm cutting at about 50 millimeters per second. Now, my machine is a 70 watt machine. I bought it as a 60 watt machine, but when you buy a laser machine, usually you get a lower wattage tube without them really telling you. So I upgraded mine to a 70 watt, which means I can cut acrylic, I can cut wood, and I can cut EVA foam. And just look at the detail there. It looks really good. Now you could add these to your costume by engraving them, cutting them out and sticking them on. Or you could laser cut your detail onto a sheet of EVA foam and then form it into your costume part. It's easy. It's worth noting that I've got the lid up on my laser cutter where I would normally have it down. The extractor in the back of my laser cutter goes through a vent outside but I also, for today's purposes, have an extractor above us to evacuate the fumes, which 
are great to breathe in, so please take care when you're doing it yourself. And just look as it finishes off the lettering on that US Army logo. The detail on this machine is really good and the capabilities of the foam, I'm really, really surprised at. And there we have it, an all-in-one solution for your cosplay needs. I'm really looking forward to what I can do with this machine in future projects. Look at the detail on those logos. They are fantastic. Wood grain, fish scale, chain mail, and feather mail. So there we go. Easy, high detailed EVA foam props. You could do it too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.